In this tutorial, I'm going to answer the question, how can I insert a YouTube video into a Google Doc? But first, why is that an important question? Well, for teachers, it's important for a couple of reasons, but the main one is a lot of teachers have started using Google Docs as basically digital lessons. And what we do is we build what would be considered a traditional worksheet, but it's done online in Google Docs. And it might include text that explains a topic, it might include hyperlinks, links to websites, links to additional content. It could definitely include pictures and drawings and much more. And then that digital lesson or digital worksheet, if you will, can be shared with the students through the share button. And it can be shared in such a way that they will be able to copy the worksheet, but they won't be able to change your original. As it says here, anyone who has the link can view. There's the link and I can share that with people in several different ways. And if you haven't watched my Google Drive tutorial and you want to know the details about how to do this, you really should watch my video. But that's one example of how teachers are using Google Docs in some kind of creative ways. Well, one of the few things that you are not allowed to add to a Google Doc is a video. And a lot of us as teachers miss that option. We wish we had it. But look, there is nothing here for insert video. Wouldn't it be nice to be able to put YouTube videos in here? So let's look at a little known workaround that makes this possible. What I'd like to do is insert some music videos from a great underground synth pop band called Mesh. And I'd like to put those into this document. Okay, so there's my title. And how can I do this? How can I get these videos in? Well, in order to get the videos in, I'm gonna have to use a few different Google tools. So let's start with the first one that I would use, and that's YouTube. So I go to youtube.com, I'll do a search for Mesh Crash Music Video. Mesh is a great synth pop band, somewhat similar to classic Depeche Mode and with maybe a little bit of erasure in there actually, but probably a little bit more toward classic Depeche Mode. But here's one of their better songs called Crash, and I'd like to click on that, and here's the video. See the vapors fading as they stare into the night. Every time it's getting harder to be buttoned up so tight. Don't do anything to us. Okay, so that's one of the videos I'd like to include in my Google Doc. So now that I've found the video, the next step is to click on the URL at the top of the screen and copy the URL. The thing is, I've already demonstrated that there's no place to insert that that would pull in that YouTube video as a video into my Google Doc. So the trick is, instead, I'm gonna go here to the upper left, click on File, and open a new presentation. So this opens the Google Presentation tool, and at this point, I'm gonna go up to Insert, and look, there is an option to insert a video into Google Slides. So I click on Video, paste in the URL for the video I want, click Search, there's the video. I select it, and it's going to embed that video into my Google Slides presentation. There it is. Now all I have to do is click on it so that it's selected, and then copy it. And Control-C or Command-C on the computer is the best way to do that. Now back in my Google Doc, which I really should rename. Now, I would like to paste it in, but that doesn't really work. So instead, what you do is you go to Insert and choose Drawing. And it opens up the Google Drawing tool. And at that point, I just do Control-V or Command-V to paste in the video that I copied from Google Slides. Now it appears there, and I click Save and Close. And that video now is embedded into my Google Doc. Notice that Google Docs treats it similarly to how it treats images. For example, I can switch it from inline to wrap text to break text. And break text is one of my favorites. It enables me to move the video pretty much wherever I want it to be. And so does wrap text. Okay, so now how would students access this? Well, once you have your digital lesson ready to go, just click on share. Anyone with a link can view. 
copy the link. If it doesn't say that for you, you could go to advanced and make some changes. But look for this, anyone who has the link can view, or even do public on the web if that's appropriate. Copy that link, and at that point, anyone that you give that link to, or you could even invite them using their email addresses, but anyone that has that link, when they go to it, because I said anyone that has the link can view, they won't see all of these tools. They'll just have a button here that says view only, but they'll be able to go up to file and choose make a copy, and they'll be able to make a copy of this digital lesson that you created. Now, what about actually playing the video? They can just double click on the video. It opens up the drawing panel and they'll be able to click play. And the video begins. Now, while I'm at it, I'm gonna add a couple of other excellent mesh songs. One is called Only Better. So I'll add that by copying the URL, going to my Google Slides, and clicking Insert Video, and just repeating those same steps as before, clicking to select, and this time copying this particular video, and then going into Google Docs, just like before. I'm gonna click and hit Enter a few times to get below the other video, and then I can insert another drawing, click on the palette here, and paste, save, and there's my second video that I'd like to include. And the third and most recent Mesh song that I want to include is called Last One Standing. So I'd like to pull this in as well. Copy the URL. So again, I can copy the URL, go back into Google Slides, and follow the same process again. So give me a minute to pull this third video into Google Slides, and then we'll finish up the video. Now, just so you know, every once in a while, this process does not work. Every once in a while, a video that you try to insert through insert drawings, every once in a while, it does not work. And what I would say is just try it again. And after two or three tries, a lot of times it will work. So when I first started making my digital lessons this way, I found this to be kind of tedious to have to use basically three different Google tools in order to insert a video into my digital lessons. Now it's almost second nature, it's pretty quick, and the benefit of my students being able to not only read the digital lesson, not only to click links to go to websites, not only look at images, but also to be able to watch videos right there in the digital lesson simply by double clicking and clicking play, I have found that to be well worth the effort of going through these steps. So I hope that you found this video to be helpful. If you did, please click the like button below. And if you're interested in learning more about Mesh's music, it's really excellent music in my opinion. If you like classic synth pop bands like Depeche Mode, Alphaville, OMD, Erasure, Camouflage, bands like that, you should check it out. So I've included some links in the description below if you want to click to learn more about Mesh. And please consider connecting with me on my social media websites like Facebook, Pinterest, and Twitter. And definitely do subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos about technology for teachers and students. And watch for another video from me at least every Monday.